Welcome to non-toxic time remains time stream. Welcome guys, welcome I'm starting with the Dolan Shield for the map fight. Welcome guys. Does it sound interesting though? What the 23 year old bad scientist bad what the computer's mass killer? Uh sure. Very interesting. It sounds very new as of 2020. No amount of toilet paper can clean up the shit you bring to ring of legends. True? That was a very funny joke. That was a very funny joke. But if I were to bring the uh, award from an ex president, you're wrong. Okay. Yo, is that him? Is that the fucking is, is that iPad? Not always. I can watch your streams, but if by any chance you do a night harvester, can you YouTube it? D. Well, I missed that. But thanks, buddy. Hold on a second. Let me reread what you just wrote. It's a lady who reads the donation, just... I don't know, it's kind of hard to understand her. Not always I can watch your stream. But in any way... Ah, uh, Night Harvest? You wanna see Night Harvester? I see. I always uh, harvest a lot of stuff from you guys uh, every night. <laughs> but yeah, sure, I'll go uh, Night Harvester. This game? You wanna see this game? Oh, oh, YouTube. You want one, one game for YouTube? I see. Because I cannot do it this game. Yeah, if I were to go Night Harvester, I need a, a setup for it. Yeah, sure. Uh, Probably next game I can try. But Night Harvester games are very conditional. It's, uh, I think, only good versus a uh, squishy champion. Very nice. Yeah, like, um, yeah, squishies. So like Malphite, Galio, Night Harvest is kind of bad, but I I can I'll try force it as much as possible though, if possible within the next few games. And surely I'll uh, try to upload for the YouTube. Oh, who's this? Oh, it's foggy. It looks. Oh, it's probably better to die from a Malphite and not give Billistic anything. Good, good, good. This is much better. Yeah. I'm dead, no matter what, even if I hide inside a bush, because the uh W uh, finds my location. Yeah. Which counters really hard. Yeah, Philodex counters team really hard because of that. It's like a Morgana's ultimate or Karina's ultimate. He can No, it's even actually better than that. He can just pop the W and I believe that shows a vision of the Timo being invisible. I'm not I'm not too sure. I think it does. Yeah.
Uh, this Malphite is trying to not go Dorn Shield build, but uh, that's a mistake from him. Not having a Dorn Shield against Teemo as a melee champion? Uh uh. That's a mistake. Even Taimo has a Doran Shield. Uh, we don't really need a Doran's Ring because we already get a mana from Presence of Mind. Yeah. So this is, I guess, what's good about this rune. That, uh... You can skip the Doran's Ring part. But at the same time, we don't get to have that the Taste of Blood or Revenant Hunter for such thing. Oh, that's a Fiddledix's uh, ward. My Ignite is almost... Oh. Level 6 already? How many minions did I miss? Yes, That's his last potion. I think we won. <laughs> if he wanted to do that, he should have done it while I was level 5. Yeah. But, um... He kind of saved his potion. He wasn't planning it ahead. So that's what happens. He should have used all his potion right before he was hitting level 6. And then as soon as he hit the level 6, while team was level 5, he should have just ulted it. But, um... He did it too late. He waited for Teemo to hit the level 6. And then get poked a bit more. Then goes all in. Doesn't work too well by doing that. Ruby. Dobel Ruby plus the no magic mental. Going on full. Magic resistance this game. Once again, we are working on a Rift Maker. Testing a Rift Maker this game. Um, going a leeching Leer. G belt. Mukuri treads. It's not bad. Let's go with the Mukuri treads. Ah, oh, refillable potion is good. So, Leeching Leer, this item can only go into um, uh, Rift Maker. There's no other item that you can make with this partial item. Provides you 20 ability power and 150 health and 10% Omni Vamp. 10% Omni Vamp. Once again, Omni Vamp is like a life heal uh, that we used to get. From the Gunblade or Death Dance, but Gunblade and Death Dance used to provide a 15% life heal, or we call it Omnivamp now. Yeah, uh, this item provides us a 10%, and when we upgrade to the Rift Maker, then it's a 15%. So think of like you are having a partial of a like, Gunblade type of item, just for a life steal, guys. And this is why I did not grab a Ravenous Hunter, nor a Taste of Blood. That Domination Tree, we can skip it because we're gonna rush it like this. Uh, the reason why I got a Mercury Tread is because it's also good to have a Magic Resistance versus Mob Fight. Not only that, oh my god. Um, crowd Control from Fiddledix. Yeah, the Fear. Or even Taunt from the Galio. Yeah. Uh, by the way, against a mob fight, we usually do go Grass and Dying and a Domination rune on the second. But once again, skip the Domination. Because we're doing this rune. I mean, this build. And so far, so state wise, just early game was a bit of a problem, but now it's just fully fine, right? No matter how much this guy's poking, I'm just healing it up all the way through minions like a black. We can dive this. Okay, this looks a little risky. Sorry about that. Yeah, I cannot help you on that one. Uh, 
I overuse a potion, but it's okay. Use a trap here just in case the Felix goes for it. I think this build is generally better to build a Teemo as an A-play Bruiser-like instead of just uh, being an A-play Caster. A-play Caster-like was... Leandri Anguish is much better. And if you wanna be more like an Assassin, then Ludens Tempest. Or if you wanna be an early game Assassin, then Night Harvester. Yeah. But Teemo being Assassin is kinda like... Kinda too much forcing it to be. Usually not a good idea. Yeah. It's only good if you're like really bad and enemies just bad, but it doesn't have to be that way most of the time for me. This Olaf is going dust blade? What is that do? Please don't go damage wheel. Could we just got a oh my god eclipse? Why? Why am I seeing Eclipse from Ole? Just keep, you know, drag him to the trap areas. He has no chance. A lot of people tend to think Mopai counters a Teemo because he could pokes with the Arcane Command and Teemo can sustain it all. But, you know, if sus. If Teemo can just build a sustain like this, it, you're totally fine. We're just gonna try get the life still up again. Back in the days, A play Nasus, or more like a triple door ring Nasus, used to do about the same stuff. Yeah. Did I miss a turret plating? Oh, I'm not gonna kill that. Dang. Galio came by. Alright, let's make a Rift Maker. Can you do it? Nice, I got assist. I'll play, cat. Blue Trinket. Mm, Bitledex is getting a little huic, but that's alright. This game... Hourglass is okay option. Now that I think about it, champions nowadays, the ADCs... Like... The new ADCs they have made is Apelio and Samira. Both of them tends to go like they don't even have to, you know, auto attack, as in like auto attack trigger. Their thing is basically turn their like Yarga type of auto attack. For example, Samira with the uh, ultimate or Apelio with one of those weapons, and that just does the auto auto attack automatically. I guess that that's a thing now for ADCs. They're probably gonna make every ADCs to be able to do that. Oh my god. Can you leave me alone? Oh, Jesus. Why 
What is wrong with you? Shit, man. There are four people top right now. I have four people from the enemy team. It was Nami, Fildix, Galio, and Apai. Our team's gotta take something out of this. Good. Is Fildix still around the top? He could be. He can easily be. But as you see, the great thing about the Rift Maker, tons of life so Or Omni Vamp, I guess. Vamping. Now, the Ravenous Hunter was patched also. It's a little bit different. Yeah. Those of you guys who tend to think Ravenous Hunter is the same, it is almost the same, but it's a little bit different. Uh, Ravenous Hunter had its own type of a lifesteal. I, I don't know what they exactly called it, but they just called it as a Ravenous Hunter. Kill, I guess. Uh, so, how it used to go is that... You only get to deal damage from your spells or items. So, like, Proto Belt damage or Blade Rune King's own hit damage, Neandri's damage. Those all go in with your Poison from Toxic Shower and Q and R. But your pure auto attack damage... Let's say if you had the Infinity Edge, that does not go in. Yeah. It was just kind of weird. Not many people actually knew about it. Only people who actually tend to use a lot of Reverence Hunter know it, but... Uh... But yeah, it's, it's a little bit different than what the Omni Vamp is. Right now, Omni Vamp counts everything. Yeah, even your auto attack portion, even if you have an Infinity Edge, that does count. As a healing. Yeah. The 80 damage choice. Oh my. They got all the dragon. While they've been camping the heck out of me. So they swap to the Omnivamp. And then Omnivamp is a less as a number wise than what it used to be in the last season it makes sense because only vamp covers up more of a healing from every damages so it's 11 percent now at the maximum instead of 15 percent what it used to be from the revenue center we always got someone coming to top huh? ridiculous What is really good about these uh, Rift Baker, I think, is that Ravenous Hunter requires a stack, but Rift Maker does not require a stack. I mean, none of my rune requires a stack. I mean, I guess there is a bit with a mana and a attack speed wise, but those are way easier to stack than Ravenous Hunter. So I have not roamed and I did not kill anyone but the mob fight, I think. And Galio. But I'm still getting like a 15% Omni Bam. I wouldn't be have, having this much of a healing. Without having a killer assist from the other champions. But I do. So it's like... 
Holy shit! Uh, <laughs> Team, can we do something? Can we get some pressure on somewhere? How can they consistently bring two to three men top and without losing anything? Why are we losing every single dragon? Well, like, it's ridiculous. My team is being too bad. Olaf just had to go full tank, by the way. We didn't need any damage still rather than what we already had. Baddies. Baddies tends to go shit like an eclipse. Oh, I'm gonna be a, a faker and just pentakill with my damage build. Look at the team comp, buddy. You got a Kalista who has a damage... I mean, the ultimate reset. He picked the Olaf to counter the Bilixis of Fear, I believe. And then builds like that dumb fuck. So he's getting one-shotted by Felix. That's what I'm talking about. Like when... You build a full damage with the... You know, being squishy. Like what is that gonna do? When you're just getting one-shotted. A lot of people like tends to kind of ignore the tanking stuff. But the melee champions shouldn't really not ignore that. Especially a champion like Olaf. I think the the weak item on Olaf or even Sunder is okay. Sunfire is fine too. Yeah, we're doomed. Hey, GG's. Bot lane lost, mid lane lost. I mean, not mid lane lost. I jungle lost. So let's keep. Banshee. Unnecessary, I think. Trust is probably better. Anyways, Demony Embrace is kind of required though. Let's work on that. Oh man, they got all the Cloud Dragon. I have it.
I'll just push this. What's this or banshees? That's a tons of life still from uh, their ADC. And, uh, some from Fiddle. Nami Hill. I get a bow step after selling the boots. I'm not gonna upgrade the QSS until very end. I'll upgrade it into a silver mirror down. Silver mirror or something like that. Yeah, that's what it calls. Why are you eating a baron? I mean dragon?
Haha, <laughs> presence of mind giving all my mana back. That's cool. I'm just gonna sell the Mercury Treads right now and get a voice tab. Yeah, this is probably the only way for us to win. And I'll upgrade the Oblivion Orb soon. Oh, that's a AD cat that I know. The broken one. Yeah, I don't think I can go with that. Not possible. What is my blue showing up? What the? That's so troll. Yeah, I'll be there soon. Of course, of course, of course. Up, bogeying close.
my god. <laughs> Woohoo! Yikes. Broken? More like Olaf's build is broken. Alright, yeah, GG's. Alright, good job, team. Not much I could have done, huh? Not much I could have done. Ah, <sighs> Jujus. <sighs>